Hey, this is Lara Love and Good News Ministry, and I would like to read to you from Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. He's talking, by the way, when he refers to saints, he means to those who have repented and turned their lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ, who believe in his death and resurrection, believe that Jesus is Lord and the Son of God, and have committed their lives to him, which is what we need to do in order to receive God's forgiveness and to enter into a forever relationship with him and spend forever in heaven with Jesus instead of forever in hell in the lake of fire in everlasting torment. So he is speaking to all those who believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and follow Jesus Christ as Lord. And he goes on to say, grace to you. Love that word, grace. It means unmerited favor, undeserved favor from God. And we certainly do not deserve the salvation of God in an everlasting relationship with him because of our sins. But he gives it to us through what Jesus did on the cross, through his death and resurrection. So he says, this is Paul the Apostle speaking, grace to you and peace from God. There's no greater peace than the peace that we have through God or from God. And it says, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. God is our Heavenly Father. We receive Jesus Christ as Lord. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is our Father. Do you see the joy in my smile and in my face right now? And let me tell you, it's not from the circumstances of my life. It's from meditating on God and having a forever relationship with him and in reading this to you. And now it goes on to say in verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we shall be, should be holy and without blame before him in love, being predestined, excuse me, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. And just those five verses, you could, we could spend so much time on all that is in those amazing, amazing verses from the Bible, just the joy of having a forever relationship with God and being adopted into his forever family that he knew even before we were born, whether or not we would turn from our sins and turn to him as Lord and spend forever with him. And it, it says, having predestined us to adoption, who are the ones that are adopted as children? Those who turn to God as Lord. When Jesus died on the cross, he died for everybody, but the only ones that will spend forever with him are those of us who humble ourselves and admit that we're sinners and that we need God to save us. And we turn from a lifestyle of sin to a lifestyle of living for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the reason I am led to do this video devotional today is to point out to you in verse three, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Those words in Christ are in the Bible many, many times. They are vitally important. They are amazing to study um, because the Bible, or one of the reasons why is the Bible shows us everything that we have in Christ when we belong to Christ, when we learn how to abide in Christ, to dwell in him, to rest in him, to trust in him, to devote ourselves to him, to obey him. This is all in Christ. Now, specifically, He's talking here about spiritual blessings, and that's what I feel led to call your attention to. This is something I missed for years because I was so caught up in physical blessings. I was so caught up in, I want this, and I want that, and this thing, and that thing, and I want to live in that place, and that house, and, and I was very caught up in human relationships, which I can still get caught up in because I love, 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 love people. But now I see and understand and recognize and acknowledge and I'm so exceedingly thankful that my greatest blessing, the greatest blessing in the universe any of us can possibly have is the Lord Jesus Christ, is God Almighty, is to have a forever relationship with him, to be in intimate fellowship with him. And that does not begin when God creates the new heaven and the new earth and we're in heaven with him forever. That begins the moment we receive Jesus Christ as Lord the moment we turn from our sins 
and believe in him as Lord and truly devote ourselves to God and his ways. We enter into that relationship. We have that greatest spiritual blessing, which is God, and to have a relationship with him that we could not otherwise have because our sins separate us from God. But Jesus died on the cross and was raised from the dead. So all who believe in him as Lord, turn their lives over to him as Lord, as I've been saying, can have that relationship through him. He's like the bridge to God. He is the one that, as the Bible says, brings us to God. It's only because he atoned for our sins on the cross, he took all of God's wrath, all of his anger and the punishment of death, hell, and the lake of fire on himself instead of us having to take it on ourselves. What about those spiritual blessings? Well, there's no greater spiritual blessing than Jesus himself and an everlasting relationship with him. That's just the starting place, my friend. There are so many spiritual blessings, which I overlooked for so many years because I was clamoring after and cleaving to any physical blessing that I could possibly have and including relationships, emotional blessings, and just any and all of that. Now I understand as you read the Bible and I encourage you to spend time alone with God and his presence each and every day, reading the Bible, singing to God, praising him, worshiping him, loving him, seeking him, praying to him, listening to him, waiting on him, hearing him, obeying him, yielding to him as he by his Holy Spirit who lives inside of his followers changes you and changes me as we follow after him. As you read the Bible and study it, I encourage you to look out for those spiritual blessings and study them and ask yourself, do I have this in my life? And just examples, the love of Christ. Do I have that in my life, the peace of Jesus? Do I have that in my life, the hope of Christ? How about joy? Am I filled with joy? Am I filled with rejoicing no matter what's going on in the world around me? Do I have intimate fellowship with Christ? That is a spiritual blessing. What about mercy? Do I know the mercy of God? Do I have that? Do I have the comfort of God, the compassion of God? Do I have the friendship of God? That's not something we can hold on to physically. That is physically, that's, um, that's spiritual. It's a spiritual blessing. What about grace? Do I really know the unmerited favor, the undeserved favor of God? Friend, I could go on and on and on. And I want you to know that the past few months for me have been really, really tough. And the past decades, several decades, I have struggled, I would say, every single day of my life with one thing or another. I have not had an easy life. You can read my story at goodnews.love. My story, as hard as it's been, however, is nothing compared to how hard other people's stories are. But I say this to let you know that the joy that you see right now in my face and in my smile and that you sense in this video devotional is not the joy of a woman that is happy because of her life circumstances. It's the joy of knowing Jesus intimately and personally and spending time in his presence each and every day of my life. I hope that this video has been an encouragement to you to totally devote yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ, to turn from your sins and a lifestyle of sinning, turn to God, believe that Jesus Christ died for you and was raised from the dead, believe that he's Lord, that he's the Son of God, and totally devote yourself to God and his ways. And read that Bible, spend time alone with the Lord, and begin to meditate on, to think about all the spiritual blessings of God. Enjoy them and thank God for them. Please visit me and Good News Ministry and my special needs ministry doggies, one of whom I lost tragically a few months ago, but I praise God for the time, the years that he gave me um, with Mr. Simeon, my paralyzed ministry doggy, um, that unfortunately I lost very, very tragically and unexpectedly. I just want you to know that when you visit my ministry online, you can still see pictures of him, of the other ministry doggies, but most importantly, to learn more about and be encouraged to believe in and follow Jesus Christ today and forevermore. Thank you so very much. Take care. Again, it's goodnews.love. Bye-bye.